Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're going to take a look here at what do you need to know right now, okay? So the first four cards are going to be what do you need to know about this situation? Then I'm going to pull some Kipper and see what, what is coming towards you. And then we'll do a Celtic cross. Any other Oracle messages that I feel I need to pull, I will throughout the reading okay so personal readings are closing out this week but if you would like a personal reading and you can't get one from me i do have a link in the description box for mystic sense along with a code to get 10 percent off your first reading so let's take a look here though let's get into this reading this is for aries Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels, please allow me to put a message here for the Aries Collective. Thank you so much. All right. All right. So let's see what the first four cards is. Ooh, coming out quick. We have the Eight of Spring here, which is the Eight of Wands. What does Aries need to know about this situation? What does Aries need to know right now? You have the Six of Winter, which is the Six of Swords. What does Aries need to know right now? Okay, that didn't come out. You have the Seven of Spring, Seven of Wands. What does Aries need to know right now? And the Four of Autumn, which is the Four of Pentacles. Um, okay. Exciting news coming in or new opportunities. This could also be very passionate communication. I'm seeing someone here moving on from something here, finding peace after a difficult situation and clarity. Um, this could also be, I'm seeing a lot of travel energy, relocating and standing your ground. And Four of Pentacles. So, okay, eight of spring, stress that comes from having many things happening at once, successful multitasking, sudden events or changes. We have the six of winter or the six of swords. Positive changes are on their way. A welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. The seven of spring or the seven of wands, be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. And the four of autumn, manage your resources wisely, achieve a balance in how you spend and save money, help out those who are fortunate, okay? And I, I also look at that sometimes holding or pulling back your energy, okay? Holding on to something too tightly sometimes too. So let's see here, what is the energies that are coming towards you based off of what you need to know right now? Let's see here. What is coming towards Aries? What is coming towards Aries? It's like some sort of communication opportunity of some sort. Let's see here. What's coming towards Aries? You have a mature man. A message of sudden wealth. Okay. and message of concern. This mystery man could be you, or this could be somebody coming towards you. I'm seeing thief at the bottom of the deck. So do be careful, Aries. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Let's, let's see what this is about for Aries. Let's see. What's this for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. What's going on here with Aries? Message and a message of concern. What is the main situation here for Aries? What does this mean? The Ace of Coins. So Ace of Pentacles. There is a financial blessing that is coming towards you. Very unexpected here with this sudden wealth. New opportunity. Some of you a new job. Um, and I feel like this is going to come through very quickly for someone. 
All right, this new opportunity. And it seems here that this is going to come after a very difficult situation. We have positive changes on the way, a welcome relief from troubled times. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles, this is a blessing from the divine, especially after you have to you maybe you have just been saving or going through a very financial fi very difficult financial hardship with the seven of spring you are standing your ground you're not giving up and i'm seeing here at the bottom of the deck this is the wheel of fortune here so there is a very positive shift that is taking place in your life aries the king of wands here you could be an entrepreneur you could be a creative here of some sort you're working from your for yourself Four of Swords here is saying that you've been contemplating on taking action to do something new for yourself. You've been meditating. Um, maybe you've had support or help for someone else as well. What's the challenge here for Aries? You got this beautiful new blessing coming in and the challenge here, you got the 10 of coins. So you go from the ace of coins to the 10 of coins. Something could be coming, success could be coming in very rapidly for you. And sometimes that could be a challenge for people if they're not prepared for an overflow of money or wealth that they are not used to. Okay, this could be the new beginning of a business too. And I'm seeing here five of coins, 10 of coins. So you could go through very drastic change. Okay, sudden events or changes here quickly okay something happened quickly so the ten of pentacles is a challenge well wow. let's see here what do you need to focus on here Aries? the two of wands making strategic decisions okay and taking action um don't allow yourself to get stuck or stagnant what happened in the past here for Aries? so we know what's going on the temperance, you were very patient in the past. Finding your balance, maybe even I'm hearing finding your niche here too. Balancing out your emotions in a situation here that was very difficult for you or complex. I'm hearing listening to divine guidance as well. What's crowning Aries? The three of swords. There was a very painful situation that took place, Aries. Um, heartbreaking situation. Could have been betrayal as well, but I'm feeling like here, whatever this painful situation was, this painful truth or stress that happened, it was the catalyst to your change, to this change for you moving on to something else. And that's how you are obtaining this blessing, this ace of pentacles. But it had to, it was something that happened to you that was very difficult, that was very hard to process. It was very painful. What's coming towards Aries in the near future? Keep seeing something up there. The Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, passionate, um, chasing your dreams, your goals very passionately. Could be exciting news too, or this just could be you very excited about the new opportunities coming in and, you know, fueling this passion. Tell us the energy Aries is in. The King of Coins, the King of Pentacles. So even if you haven't seen this material wealth manifest yet, it is, okay? Somebody here is going to have be having a very successful business. Somebody could be investing in your business as well. This is a message here for somebody not to give up with the Seven of Spring and the overall energy. Even if it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's happening yet with the Four of Coins, manage what you have wisely right now, but also prepare yourself for more, more success, okay? Because it seems like something difficult times are over what it, what's in your air's environment the two of coins there is someone or something that is unstable financially there could be some sort of financial decision that you have to make that has not come in yet okay and needing to find balance but this is two of pentacles is finding it feeling it's definitely something external but I wonder if this is somebody, another person here. Let's see here. So you got the King of Cups that came out here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This could be somebody else that you're dealing with. This could be this mature man, somebody that you love greatly or just somebody who's very emotionally. It, it could be somebody who's very deep in their emotions or feelings. Or you could be feeling that way about them. I'm also feeling like, Aries, if this is you, the need to be emotionally grounded before you make any major decisions. Um, don't make them off of out of desperation or fear. Okay, or impulse. 
what's the outcome here for Aries? The outcome you have is the moon. This kind of came crossing here. Something that you don't see. Something going on behind the scenes that hasn't been revealed. And I said not making decisions out of fear. The moon could definitely be sometimes um, deep subconscious fear. Things happening out of the ordinary. Um, the lovers at the bottom of the deck and the queen of coins. Let's clarify this. I keep seeing this thief card here at the bottom of the deck. So let, that's... Let's start with the two of coins in your environment. What is this about? This is for Aries, the two of coins in their environment. What is this about? Or two of pentacles. What is this two of pentacles about? The devil, the death card. And I said that about the speak card. It feels like that. And the page of wands. Could be a friend, a business partner, somebody who wants to connect with you and invest. I feel like if you do that, they could bring a lot of hardship towards you. I'm seeing someone here who could be very obsessed with, finan with finances or money with the devil here. Um, obsessed with material wealth, but very unstable, unstable within themselves. Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy, Earth energy, and a little bit of fire energy. So somebody coming towards you to communicate to you, um, message you. It's like they have some sort of exciting opportunity for you or proposition here. That they're saying like this could change everything. But it really could, but not in a positive way. Tell us about the death card. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, very painful ending or betrayal. This could be something or someone that you've already ended it, things with. I'm hearing spoke very poorly about you as well. King of Wands in reverse may have been in their ego. Maybe even a little unhinged or unethical. They could have been a boss of some sort, an entrepreneur, somebody that you worked with. Didn't end well. Tell us about the Ace of Pentacles. That could be the message of concern right there. Tell us about the Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. I said I kept seeing the Thief card. You got an opportunity coming in, but then you have somebody or something that's very deceptive and dishonest. Somebody that you cannot trust. Tell us about the Ace of Coins. The Two of Pentacles. Mm. And the Sun. Very positive new beginning, but there's something here where you have to weigh your options, Aries, because of something here, either someone or something that you cannot trust. You needing to use your discernment. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What is this for Aries? Four of Cups in reverse, or Four of Cups. I don't know if it came in reverse. Ignoring an opportunity, hiding. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. The strength, holding back. This is definitely withholding something. It could be. It could be all the information. Not letting someone know something before you make a decision or invest in something or take an opportunity. This might be very difficult for you to do. Because maybe you thought that you could trust this person. I don't know where this is going or what this is about. Um, tell us about the Ten of Coins as a challenge. Oh, that came right out. Temperance. Tell us about the Ten of Coins as a challenge. The Six of Swords. Being patient. 
and the seven of pentacles waiting before you invest in something or someone. Tell us about the knight of wands in the future position. The fool card. This is impulsive energy. It's exciting. It's a rush. You know, it's good news. But somebody's doing something very impulsive. Tell me about the Knight of Wands and the Fool. Seven of Wands. They're saying to stand your ground. If this is a person coming towards you with an opportunity, trying to offer you something that sounds like a new beginning, sounds very exciting, and you wanting to take a chance, Spirit is saying, the whole message here is saying to wait and evaluate everything, every angle, every option, and not show your hand. I feel like this is a message for somebody who are either a creative, an investor of some sort. You have your own business. I'm just, I have to tell you, this is, that's what it sounds like. Somebody starting something, a new opportunity. There's an opportunity or a, a situation coming in for you where you really need to not show your whole hand. Okay. If it's somebody's asking you to invest your own money, you need to wait before you do so, okay? Somebody may also hear of a blessing that comes to you, an opportunity that comes to you, money that comes to you, and you may be eager to flip this money, okay? You may be eager to invest this money, which is a good thing, but do make sure that you're dealing with somebody that you can trust, Okay, make sure you're dealing with somebody that you can trust because ugh. <clears throat> I'm seeing you here, Aries, with the king of coins, you're going to be very abundant and I'm seeing somebody external to you, very greedy, very greedy and has the potential to make a good thing into a very bad thing. It has the potential to sabotage something for you. And they may have come off as a friend or somebody who can help you. But honestly, mm, check out everybody. Tell us about the moon and the outcome. See, the moon is some sort of shady energy. And that's why I keep seeing this thief card here at the bottom of the deck. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Six of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Somebody's very confident, intelligent, or wise. Maybe somebody you do business with. But the mo but they're saying here with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, something is not moving. Oh goodness. We've got the Four of Pentacles that came out holding back again. I feel like this is you, Aries, of this Queen of Swords energy, that wise, that discerning energy. Um, you need to be very particular. I'm telling you, it's something here about being very particular about who you trust, who you work with, the Six of Wands and the Ace of Cups in order to continue your success and opportunities coming to you. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Ace of Swords. You're going to see, you need to see the full truth about someone or something before you move forward. Two of Cups. Could be a working relationship, could be a lover. Like I say, if a lover wanted to invest with you or do something or somebody you consider a friend, you need to see the whole truth of a situation. There's a message coming in. I don't want to make this too long, but I feel like whoever this message is for is going to get this message. There's a message of concern. There's some sort of truth or communication coming in about someone or something that you're working with. In meantime, in between time, sun wealth here, Aries, it's like you hit the jackpot in something or you find, and I mean, the money could not be there right away, but let's just say you find something that you're really passionate about and you start working at this thing and you're seeing this is going to be a good thing, right? Money is really going to start flowing to this thing that you found your niche, you found your thing, you found your thing. And so things are going to start changing for you rapidly and money is going to start increasing for you. There's something here about someone who's going to have their hand out. Maybe it's a, somebody who wants to collaborate, invest in you, um, sponsor you in any kind of way. And it's, they may not be the most trustworthy. It, it may it may not be that you have to sacrifice the whole investment or the whole thing. You may just have to go with someone else. Tell me about the three of swords. Tell me about the three of swords here. 
this is the heartbreak. Tell me about the three of swords. Five of wands in reverse. There could be some sort of, somebody could be competing with you or trying to compete with you. In the Hierophant, I feel like you overcome this thing with your own intelligence. You will. You will see something for what it is. And the Wheel of Fortune here, things will still change in your favor. Tell me about the Three of Swords. There you have it, the Emperor. There you are, coming out on top, overcoming something. With the Five of Wands in reverse, you're defeating or overcoming somebody who thought that they were your competition or trying to be in competition with you or trying to take you down. Tell me about the Five of Wands in reverse. This could be like some work situation, but I feel like it's bigger than that. The Queen of Cups here in the Chariot, I feel like you spare someone or something, like someone that you really could have destroyed or exposed, but instead... You know, it's like love and light. You're going to continue. You're going to keep it moving. You're going to keep it flowing. But I feel like you really could have, you really could have exposed someone. And you chose not to, and you didn't. But you did protect yourself. And you did overcome. Tell me how this is going to end for Aries. I'm saying, tell me, they're saying different deck. Tell me how this is going to end for Aries. Let's... For the Aries that this resonates for, how is this going to end for Aries? Seeing the Seven of Swords again. How's this going to end for Aries? The same cards are coming out for what I just said. How's this going to end for Aries? Wow. How's this going to end for Aries? Wow. Wow. All right, Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So you got the Five of Wands, okay? The Emperor, which came out for the Five of Wands up there. The Empress. You got the Page of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Aries, you definitely overcome some sort of conflict, drama, or someone who was trying to compete with you. And you overcome that. And the Empress here is saying that you're going to end up very abundant, People are going to gravitate towards you. So even if somebody tried to make you look bad, take something from you, you still end out on, on top, okay? Still, I'm hearing good reputation of some sort here in the Page of Cups. People still think highly of you. The Seven of Wands here, I'm feeling you're very protective. You had to stand your ground in the situation. Even the Seven of Wands is a card of victory. You overcame something. You overcame something. And you're very protected. Give me one more. There's the Ace of Pentacles again. And you still get blessed. You still get this opportunity. Okay. I don't know what this is or who's going to resonate. Well, because I just read the energy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know what's happening here. But, but I know these messages, when they come out, somebody's going to resonate to it. And if you don't, just know that every message is not for you. Somebody just needed to hear this. Okay, this could be a business owner, this could be an entrepreneur, this could be somebody who just stepped out on faith to start something and it's going to be very lucrative. You're going to receive some sort of monetary opportunity or blessing or investment. You will receive it. And I feel like whatever this blessing is will help you elevate. Okay, but there's someone in the mix, in the situation that you cannot trust. And maybe they're wanting you to give some of their money to them or have them invest your money or it's something of that, like a working relationship. It could even be someone who is a financial advisor, a legal person. And it's just like, mm, you can't trust them. So just make sure you do your own investigating 
before you sign anything, I want to say, or before you trust anybody, even somebody who maybe you thought you could trust, um, you thought you could trust them. Like it could be a, an actual friend who you thought you can trust. I feel like somebody's eyes get big by the amount of money that you have, or they see you receiving, or maybe even the recognition that you're receiving and the success that you're receiving with the six of wands and the chariot. And then you've got the, the emperor and the will of fortune here and the, and the hierophant. It's like somebody sees an Aries who may have been down and out come up in a major way. Okay. And now they're like, Ooh, Aries is doing good. You know what I'm saying? Like, or Aries just got paid. Let me, you know, let me go see if I can go pitch my scam to them. <laughs> like, let me go see if I could go scam Aries real quick. Or, you know, let me see if Aries will give me some starter money for my business now that they're doing good. Or, or let me see if Aries wants to collaborate because their name is good out there in these streets. But the whole time, whatever they got going on is very shady, okay? And so maybe if it's just a name, like they don't, you shouldn't be attached to them, okay? I feel like some of you, it's a money thing because the Four of Pentacles is an overall energy. They're really saying stand your ground and hold back, okay, with that, with giving any money to anybody or investing your money with anybody. I'm going to put this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this message because I feel like somebody, this is like a warning message, to be honest. This is like a warning message. And that's what this is. This is a warning message. So this probably hasn't happened. This is about to happen. Maybe you're about to receive some money, Aries. There's somebody who you can't trust. You know what? Let's go. Because <laughs> this, this is unsettling, honestly, because it feels like somebody's trying to take advantage of somebody. <clears throat> Let me just see here. Ask this last question and see. How would Aries, who is this person that they cannot trust? What is this situation that they cannot trust? Who or what is this that they cannot trust? Let's see. Who or what signs or characteristics or situations cannot trust. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Who is this that they cannot trust? Four of Wands. The Strength, this is Leo Energy. Who or what can they not trust? Ace of Cups and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Could be somebody that you love, you think highly of, Maybe even you think it's very intelligent or they know what they're talking about. Could be a guru. Tell me about the hermit energy. Nine of swords. Tell me about the hermit energy. Ooh, there it is, the five of swords. That was that was what was calling to me, that hermit energy. Could be a Virgo, but or it could be a Leo. Let's not think about the sign. What it is is that somebody here who may be a loner, that could be descriptive, um, somebody who does business by themselves, but it's somebody here who professes to be very knowledgeable about whatever it is a guru of some sort, a teacher, maybe even. And they seem to be uh, even professor, family member, even, you know, somebody that you, you really trust and love, you, you admire. Um, maybe you think somebody is very strong here, but they seem to be, they could even just be giving you bad advice because the nine of swords is here. It's like maybe they um they're almost questioning what they're giving or doing. Some of you though with the five of swords, they're actually intentionally being manipulative. Tell me about the hermit and the seven of wands. Spirit is saying to stand your ground. That was the overall energy of the whole reading. Queen of wands. Okay. The Knight of Swords, the Lover, some of you could have been in relationships, and the Page of Cups. Um, 
some of you may need to be very creative when dealing with this person, I want to say. N not showing your whole hand. Maybe so you can get more information before either you expose them or just, you know. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Take care.